One, Five. two, three, four. Hey, count backwards, count forward. Uh, what's a dolt to do? Welcome to the dork table. Uh, this is the dolt edition, armed and dangerous versus stone and stupid. Here with uh, Flash. Say hello, Flash. Hello, Flash. And hello, Vinny. Hello, Vinny. Here we are, reallibertymedia.com, rlmradio.xyz. And welcome along. We've got a fun little bit of uh, our tunication to come along here at Real Liberty Media. Hashtag our log. Mm-hmm. Say something, Flash. Oh, I was typing greetings and holiday hellos to all from your non-religious fellow here that doesn't participate in the commercialism of, <laughs> of an illusion. <laughs> gotcha. Anyway, what's up? Uh oh, did we die? We went dead. Did I? What the hell? Vinny seems to have lost contact with me. Let's see what's going on. Uh, mm, I'm lost for a moment here. We hung up on Vincent. We will try to ring him back and continue the Dark Table podcast before your very eyes and ears. Right here at reallibertymedia.com with me, You're Flash, adult. and what did, what did I do? You, do? you what, pushed the button. I didn't push anything. You Where just, did that go? You, I don't know. So I closed, you, I closed you out and started over and called you again. Uh, it looks like the show canceled. How so? I don't know. It says it on air. I don't see how. You're you, such an adult. Are you stoned? Yeah, a little bit. Wow, okay. what's that got to do with anything, maestro? Well, that's today's edition of the Dork Table. What? Because I got high? The, what? The adult edition. Yes, armed and dangerous or... Are you oh. armed? Actually, are you armed or are you just running your big old pie hole? Hey, let's talk about that after you tell everybody where we're at, why we're here, and what we're doing. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, <laughs> did, did I already say that once? Or I don't just... know. Let's try it again. <laughs> don't. Scott's. Scott's. And... The I pot noticed. calling the kettle black. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Chloe. Hi, uh, Moosey. No, you do it in, in, in the... Come on. We have a format we usually go by. Come on. Get with it. This is the adult edition, dude. Oh, yeah. Hey, Chloe. What's up? Oh, okay. girl. Hey, so, you have thrown it all out the window. Do I start again? Or, or is the tuna cashing intact? I don't know, chicken. It's up to you. You can do did the you, show however you, you want to. Did you stop the broad, uh, the record or did you keep on going? <coughs> I never stopped anything. I just hung up the Good, phone nobody you <laughs> and recalled no, you. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> nobody. Nobody likes a quitter. <laughs> Don't get it. <laughs> Don't start. Yeah. Okay. Don't start with your American e- excellence, superiority, oh. and such. I only have one thing to say to you. What? What? Choose your, what? Master. Choose your master. Oh, okay. I will. Wait a minute. Okay, so we need something for knocking effect. I guess I'll use the table. Stoned and lazy. A lighter in hand on the dork table. Absolutely. Masses and That's Vinny. It's where it's supposed to be. Knock on the door. Oh. Armed and dangerous. Hey, life, she ain't so kind. No, it ain't. No. Lost and running. What are the chances the next time it's me when the man rolls around? If there's ever a problem again. Hmm. I don't know. Are there? Are, is Lad Brooks taking odds on you? It's what? All right, nothing. It's a gambling site. What? You didn't you know Americans know how to do anything besides threaten other countries with nuclear weapons? <laughs> hey, what's up? What's fun? What's hey, fun? Where are we at and why are we here? <laughs> we're here at reallibertymedia.com. It's rlmradio.xyz. And we're over here in the chat, chitter chat, in the same chat channel, same chat time. You're and welcome, we have, Grimner. Yeah, thank you, Grimner. Yeah. Grimner. What's he doing? 
I don't know. I think he's... There uh, it is. The may, great, uh, mighty Gremler at the top with the bar, man. Yeah, and the bar, man. Hmm. Well, yeah, what? we're saying howdy to the... Chatters to the, in the, the chat The users room. and the users, right? Yeah, but... Not Hansel, but everybody else. I'll say hi to. I'm That's gonna, nice I'm gonna go on Hansel strike this week. Hans not here, man. See, it's working already. Asmo, man, I'm good. When I tell Sedoni, when I put my mind to something, circle, watch out. Hey, circle. She's. I there. like that girl. She's. Ah, like, can I yell? Can she hear me if I yell? No, just my, just my headphones. You butt nugget. <laughs> Chloe, there's a flash. Chloe. Um, Body B and Hello, Graham me. C. She's got hey, to work. Miss Mary. Oh yeah, I I think I heard her talk about that Wednesday having to work today, mm -hmm. or maybe it was last night. It's... Where are you? Me? No, I be Don. I be Don. See, yeah, Mister Brown. Yeah. Who, who's this guy looking around with a ponder gander? Uh, I don't know. Who Poxified is it? and Poxophone. Rain, rain, rain. Oh, really? I'm flute. Oh, she's so lovely. I'm Vanna White. Rooms. And me. You again. Vinny. The Phantom. Not a Phantom. Beetle was Beetle was looking for a link to the red pill when we were starting the show. So I think he's oh. I think he's doing other things. But hey Beetle As it be <laughs> I don't Beetle care. Mark. Kim be. trailer. Be at leg. Hey, yeah. Mike. What? Mike. Who? Mike. Mike. What? What's up? Who's Dude. Mike? Yeah. Kim Trailer. Mike. Ah, Mike SLC. the Kim Trailer. Oh, is that who that is? We right, will. Wow. That's right. You heard it here first, folks, on the RLM. Take that to the bank and tell them you want to withdraw. Huh. Are you going to finish or what? Are oh, you yeah, broken? No, I'm huh? 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 I, I'm Okay. Uh, hey, Cyborg Noodle. Dakota, Frumpy, Gromit, <laughs> Java Doctor 2, Jays, Nines, Jays, Kozu, Nensen Dubois, Poxahom, Ponsa, Sock Puppet, and Skittle. And a partridge in a fucking pear tree, baby. <laughs> Load both barrels, he's smoking again. <laughs> uh, okay, well, I've come to a point where I've reclined here. And, uh, Welcome, uh, UCY.TV and uh, Kim Trailer. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Did you take my advice that I gave you before the show? Probably not. What was it? Told you to choose your master, you But uh, it, What do you think I was talking about? I'm self-serving. No, no, no. You got to choose. You got to choose a master. If you don't choose a master, how can you have a master? <laughs> how can you have any pudding if you don't eat your meat? Um. Uh, hmm. Wait a minute. I asked the question first. Okay. Then you give me this double talk Pink Floyd stuff. No. Answer me. Answer me. I did. I'm self-serving. And I'm loading a bowl. Well, right. But, okay. Because I, I always sound like I'm picking on you. But I'm more just curious to how you see the thing, right? Well, so, everybody everybody knows that you're a little bit uh, challenged. So, oh, that's okay. That, you just... I, you just I'm carry a, on. I'm a little bit. <laughs> wow. Well, you self-serving son of a bitch. You were right. <laughs> you are self-serving. Uh, seriously, though. Okay. Now, if other people don't believe what you believe, are they wrong? Uh, wrong to who? Wrong to themselves or wrong to me or wrong to you? Well, it really doesn't <coughs> matter. See, that's how ridiculous. Hard to so how ridiculous we we make this whole fucking thing in the first place. What you think about <clears throat> something and what you say about something doesn't have any effect on me at all, unless I want it to. And then what? What's the point of that? So I can get mad or be happy. Ooh, but I, I'm, I tell I'm you what. It. Tell you what I'll do. I'm gonna let somebody else ask the questions. Your and then, alter and, ego. And listen, no. Yeah. I think it's somebody else's alter ego. Uh, Grimder asked me the other day uh, if I was having fun with uh, Butterfly B, uh, as a B over here on Twitter. Mm. And one of these, uh, I don't even know what to call them. See, some people call them trolls. Mm. Uh, wait, let me pop back over here, chat. Somebody ping me. 
loud, uh, loud enough, says Moosey. For all of us. Okay. Well, okay. the chemtrailers advertising. Cool. I think talking about fishing, though. That's uh, that's in part of the bro uh, broadcast, yeah. Uh, country boy, it's prayer. Ah, how weird. We'll so, come to that. What were you saying? Oh <laughs> yes, uh, butterfly bee. Now, this person is supposed to to know me, and uh, uh, kind of pegs on a, a a few things. So let's go through this and and see what you think. And let's uh, let's help define this dolt right here. I, I must be adult. So. Uh, you suggested the dolt table, and all this stuff lines up. It usually does that. Our our tunication, as it may be. <laughs> so, Just redefine. I love, it when yeah. a, I love it when a plan comes together, baby. Re redefine the language as you go. It, it's very entertaining. Thank you. Vinny is another padded room escapee. Who the hell cares what your experience was? You're nobody. Just a camp follower trying to catch a few crumbs go find a real life before it's too late <laughs> how you like that look what do you think i don't have, I, have i escaped escaped how do you mean escaped the pattern a patterned room this is what butterfly b yeah, says about, about you. me well yeah. no that's what you expect a status minded <laughs> person that's very rigid to say about you if they didn't say that about you i'd think they weren't paying attention Ah, a that's, wordsmith. You are not, she that's says. Their job. Oh yeah, she's attacking for uh, from personal under uh, the guise of your very working. personal. Ah. She says her words are not provoked, just truth. You keep trying to force yourself into the crackpot Bundy landscape. Wow. You only showed up in Bunkerville, never Oregon. Okay. Well. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I didn't go to Oregon. But still, I mean, you know, that's... I was going... Hey, SLC right here. Uh, Kim Trailer, Mike, tell him. I was headed that way. And you know what? The Being able to be within the, uh, the proper vibrational frequency of the universe, I did not go. I would, See, did not make it. That goes with all your God stuff, in my opinion. Whatever. From from the way we've talked, because however you want to define it, yeah, I'm not yeah. do that well, for you. I'm the I'm the you listener. Have your, hey. You have your own obligation, sir. Yeah, but I'm the listener, and I, I'm using you as an experience in this, you know, in my looking at it, because you answer it pretty well. Okay, thank you. Don't well, don't, so somebody knows who I am. Then she says nobody knows. No one even knows who I am. <laughs> I should get a life. Wow. Wait, wait a minute. Yeah. There it is. I'm yeah. making big money, baby. What? Uh, instead, of, yeah, instead of being a grifter off the freak fest like wow. the rest of the criminals, you're not a patriot. Wow. You're not part of any revolution. Well, I'm in part of a revelation, baby. That's right. Through conversation. Thanks, Choco Chili. Wow. Well, I was listening to this link on YouTube yesterday. I think it was yesterday or Thursday. Thursday or Friday. Okay. And it was about uh, this guy called Richie from Boston. And he was going on and talking about the the situation that we're all in in, in, in America, so to speak. But he's saying that uh, we're – he was intimating that we're in a revolution like the French <laughs> went, wow, this is getting bigger than, than I thought it was, Vinny. What's going on in America? And you know, there, seriously, there is a big chance of uh, serious, serious uh, civil upheaval in, in the future here. And but some people would promote that. But define and others, it. Define and others it. would promote peace. Okay. Uh, others okay. would promote peace. And, and that's what I'm doing. What am I doing? Yeah. What, oh, yeah. What's my purpose? Yeah. Yeah. Let me let me just go ahead and run through the rest of the list real quick. It's a it's only one or two more. Uh, she was very uh, adamant about speaking to me, and I didn't give her the pleasure of responding. Uh, so that I'm doing now. Uh, says I'm a grown man with an IQ of an eighth grader. I re pretend to be a reporter. I have zero training. You are as mental as the rest of these pukes. You beg for money, so you continue wow. to pant after the Bundys like a sick 
unwanted dog. Wow. <clears throat> Is your stuttered brain so undeveloped you can't comprehend that you are contributing nothing to society, let alone whatever family you have? It's really quite sad and pathetic. So it's a fact that someone doesn't just tell you the cold, hard truth. Get a life. Get a life. Oh, wow. <laughs> there you have it. There you have it. Thanks, Moosey. I am somebody. That is some deep-rooted statist mentality going on there, Bosco. I, I think that has to be wow. um, MD louder, I, I'm pretty sure. To say eighth grade education, you can't tell uh, that. That's about the time I left off of school. Well, don't take it to heart, Vinny. It's just somebody, you know, giving you bullshit about a problem. Oh, that's I don't. Not related I to don't. the problem. It is, it is so apropos to the engagement that I'm in. What am I doing? Yeah, am I doing this for money? Have have I grifted? All right. Wow, so, do you feel William, guilty? Listen. Wow. No, not at all. William Wagner sent me a hundred dollars in Denver. And so did somebody that I'll leave on <laughs> name. Yeah. Uh, two days of parking. So twenty two fifty. Yeah. Uh, no, make it twenty five, I think. Yeah. And another uh twenty bucks from a dear <laughs> dear dear friend. Yeah. Uh, that that's why we went when we went to Denver. So that that's the extent of my grifting. Add it up. Oh yeah, yeah. I doubt yeah. I've never accused you of being out No, of course not. No. But that's okay. If you didn't have, see, I've got my Hansel. You've got your, what's this person's name? Which one? The one you're reading about. Oh, Butterfly B. Butterfly B. What a, it's a girl, right? All right. Okay. I got a lot. Thank you, Gramner. Thank you, Barman. What a. Barman gets Vinny alive. What a lovely young lady you have attracted there with your way with words, sir. I well, envy you. Uh, you, uh, you know that um, I had to get a super secret identity. How do you mean? Yeah, Scaramouche. Well, I've already written on the wall that it's you know, the Capitani Vani. You're Bruce Wayne, and everybody's gonna find that out. So Son. fuck off, Batman. Anyway, nobody so like life. Nasty so my cereal. While uh, while I was out traveling about this, uh, well, it's, uh, I left almost a year, two years ago now. But anyways, I went to Tennessee. Well, I went to Texas. Tennessee, I hiked uh, parts of the Appalachian Trail. Went oh, to yeah. my my buddy John uh, from uh, from Bunkerville. <laughs> Doing it his way. I've got a song uh, uh, for him as well. But he's in prison now because he didn't guard his words. Hmm. And it winded up in prison. That's not good. I'm a man of peace. I'm not here to provoke. I'm not here for a revolution, but revelation. Again, revelation to conversation. Act of peace. Yeah, I know that, Vinny. Please. Anyway, and we're at the dork table. So come on, the people that listen to the dork table already know you. Don't be so don't be so defensive against a, an obvious set of shit, you know. From oh, life. I'm not. I'm having fun with it. But okay, hey, well, we, I'm not having got, fun with it. We got I our wanted, friend Kim Trailer over here, so yeah. I was just catching him up a little bit. Uh, but I wanted to, to talk to about. I wanted to talk about choosing your master. Cause well, we are is, choosing our master, ain't Dina, we? Every as you, day. As you won't do it, I'm going to do it for you. Thank you. You're welcome. And I just thought you'd like to know which master I've chosen to be your master. Because there's it, so many choices. I mean, crying out loud. Is her, is her name Mary Jane? Oh, you wanted a girl? Yeah. <laughs> is her Who name would? Mary Jane? <laughs> First off, you know, there there's a, a lifetime habit of to break right there. It, is thinking of weed as, as marijuana that's going to haunt us forever uh, through our lifetime. But the younger people that get indoctrinated differently than we were, they're not going to know what we know. They're going to grow up with legal weed, not knowing that it was, oh, it, it, it'll be the same as alcohol. And it was prohibition and all this kind of crap. And they'll play it in a certain fashion so that people don't care. How how many people make their own booze these days? How many people grow their own tobacco? Oh, many, many, many. Probably, who, I guess I would assume millions because of microbreweries and uh, the black market and pot. 
It's getting more and more, right? But here's uh, here uh, here's that addition I have to insert at this point because it's a it's the right time. It's uh it's a prayer that a country boy prays. It's yeah. black coffee in the morning, dark whiskey in the evening. Getting oh, yeah, red, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ri- getting red dirt rich, and green buds for smoking every day. Thank God he made me this way. That's a uh, oh. take out from Luke Bryan a uh, hunting. Moose doesn't. Dude, moose doesn't love want, every day. Moose doesn't want me to choose her master. Oh Too bad. man. Ah. Uh, Here's Carl. Who is Carl? Do you but know? I'm promoting the social trap. Damn it! You're ruining my show with your sensibilities. Stop that. Hey, it is 4:20 somewhere, and this report is brought to you by uh, Buzz Beaver. Good for us. In- inviting you to enjoy your day with your new master. Mary Jane. Yeah. So I believe at this point in our history, in this day today, that we are all in a form of war. A, uh, I think wars are done in three sections. And the violence is the last part of it. If it comes to violence, it'll be the, the last. It won't be the beginning. So we're headed for the finance because first thing, in my opinion, is there's the argument, whatever the argument is. doesn't even have to have an explanation. Just call it the argument that started the war. And then you have the two sides meet, and then something will come of that. And then the third thing will be violence. If the second thing don't work. And oh, they picked up Mr. Trump. What a, what a game show host this guy is. Is he not an entertaining slob or what? People are turning. People are turning on the Trumpster now, aren't they? Because what? He, he, banned, he banned the bump stock. What does that mean in English? You know, what a bump a bump stock. Oh with. yeah, for the guns, right? Yeah. He remember it? the the uh, uh, one October. Uh, yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. I remember that. But okay, so he went for a new. That. See, prohibition is the cornerstone of most of your problems. That's where all the trouble starts. Take a look at it, man. It's just right in your face. If you're not sitting in it, you can step away. You go, wow. They just ban something, and the next thing you know, there's trouble. Boom. We need cops because, see, we created all this trouble with this ban against this thing. Oh, fuck. Whatever happened to the free market and, you know, natural selection? <laughs> I don't know. Are you typing while I'm speaking to the RLM chat room? <laughs> yeah, I'm. Uh, you a, I'm at a little little oh, wordsmith stuff. Is that uh, what you said? Wait, let me just go look I at don't it. Know. Is it words, wordsmith? Is that right? Yeah, hey, wordsmith. I have five new notifications over there. Uh, I think I got to scroll well, down. In your ah, way. wait, wait, wait. Here it is. Right. Uh, wordsmith, wow. you're not. Quote butterfly beat. Ah, the girl. Yeah, your number one fan. No, that's, probably not my number that's, one. Fan. Yeah, that's your Hansel. No. Can you? No. You, will you shut up and listen for a minute? You're not. Let me tell you why I think she's in love with you. Secretly loves you. Ready? You know how much energy it takes to put out to hate somebody that much? Come on, that's a lot of work. Wow. I mean. I can get, barely get by a comment like uh, "you're the root, you're a rude so and so," and then where's the ignore thing again? I can't stand the typing. <laughs> hey, we so, should we should start a we should start a company and name it Bump, mm. and we'll sell stock and we'll say Bump Stock. Did a new uh, movie. Uh, that's kind of strange because that's that was my my second daughter's nickname when she was born. Really. Bumpy, bumpy. Um, Uh, Well, I'll tell you the reason why. Let me tell you a quick two-minute story. I I knew when she was coming that she was a girl. I just knew it. There was no doubt in my mind. I never even thought of a male name. But the name that I did name her, I realized that whenever you meet a girl, they're always tired of their own name. Call me anything. but And they got a good name, but they don't like it because they've been listening to her all that name their whole life so i gave my daughter the worst nickname i could think of and it was bumpy because when she was in her mom she was a 
you know, she started out as a little bump and then became her. <laughs> nice. But I thought, you know, that way it, your name, her name would never be worn out in her own mind where, oh, I don't like being called that anymore. Hey, you know, re, kind of I, that re, I, I'll, I'll be right back. I can still hear One second. Yeah, I was telling you a boring story about my kid because you brought it to mind you. with your uh, your crazy nonsense that you do. Anyway. Hmm. Oh, yeah, most people, Moose Girl says most people don't even know what bump, what a bump stock is. Uh, I wouldn't know it on site, but I remember all the information flooding the Internet because of this um, massacre in Las Vegas and all that. But I got really bored with it real quickly. You know, being so far away, I, I don't want to spend every day of my, you know, waking hour looking at las vegas it it it's an assault to my sense of taste i love vegas man that's been my that's been my second home since 1969 yes i love yeah. to go live there for uh periods and then come back home to the hills ah well you know what i i don't want to go anywhere anymore I'm tired of it tired of traveling hated it hate hated it I didn't hate it. I'm done with it until I have to do it some more. Then I'll then I'll just be loving it. <laughs> you know the difference between uh, here in Vegas. What? It's 20 miles for a trip to town here. Yeah. And in Vegas, it's a 24 hour trip to town in town. <laughs> oh, you can't get out of it for a while. If you start in the center and go out, that's. That take a long time to get walking through all that shit. That's From one good, side, yeah. yeah. That's just ha but I'm just saying half of it because when I was there in the '90s, they had this casino called Arizona Charlie's. Yeah. And I used to go there because it had more of the local people that hung out there instead of you know, not not as many tourists were at that place. It's I'd run into way. I'd run into neighbors and coworkers there. But I haven't been there in 20 years. <laughs> 15 or something like No, it's been 20. 90, what year was that? 93 or something. Oh, I'm so old now. <laughs> 15 years. Is it 15? Hmm. Uh, hey, what was the only reason anyways, Chloe? I forgot what it was I said. The She's only reason of what? It's not the only reason. Get them boys out there shoveling. Shovel that shit, baby. Oh, it's snowing. Moose has got snow. Ah. Oh, okay, Moose. I don't know, but, you know, I was a parent for periods of time where... Oh, You've never been a parent. You're so vague. <laughs> <laughs> That's clever, Vinny. <laughs> Very good play. <laughs> yeah, anyway, but, you know, kids... Your kids are you in little suits. They reflect back at you what you are. It's very weird. And my daughters, I have two of them, and they're not pleased with me still. <laughs> and I got kicked off Facebook for fighting with a religious nut about pot. You're a religious nut. Well, they told me to go back, you know, and I said, no, you go, I ain't going. That's because you know, you're a religious nut. Mm, wow. What what do and cultists do? I well yeah, wait a minute. I want to start my own cult, man. You are. You already Yeah, are. I did. Oh, cool. Yeah. Are you in it? <laughs> You're in it all by yourself. <laughs> no, I got yeah, you be like donkeys with Shrek. I'm, I'm so alone. Got Circle and Hannah and the the, the doctor. Yeah. Are you kidding? My They're only on your peripheral. My gang is huge, pal. Let me tell you. <laughs> hey, so uh, what about Grim? He he wants to know how you feel. <laughs> Lol, uh, Moosey. <laughs> I don't. What is what? Do am I supposed to? What is iHeartRadio? You feel with your heart. You've got to love it, right? I mean, how could you? What a question! Is this rhetorical? You've I got to love it. Well, how do you? Me. How do you feel? Oh, he put up a link. Okay, www.iheart dot com podcast nine six six the dork table wow hey uh, that's me and you buddy what's going on here yeah. 
Anyway, says Vinny. You, oh, this is Chloe. Said yes. uh, yes. Trump yes. fans are leaving him because he banned bump stocks. <laughs> well, I that's a big that's one right there, though. Just one of many reasons. Uh, well, you know, people are always going to get dis disillusioned by the uh, the guy that promised them the moon and only gave them, you know, uh, a reach around and went, "Hey, sorry, no moon." <laughs> Thanks for your donations, and I have lunch to with a, that North Korean guy. I'll be back tomorrow. You know, I mean, let's see wow. if I can find this guy. Could you think of a better scam than politics? If you if you were a lion hustling piece of shit, would you go out there and run for a fucking office or not? I would. If I was lying, cheating, you know, fuck everybody else, I'd go out there and get in politics. I'd learn to speak Danish just to see if I could become a politician. <laughs> wouldn't you no ah because you're an honest guy that's what i mean if you was a cutthroat piece <laughs> of shit fucker you don't think he'd be out there trying to be a, like a lawyer <laughs> Here's or maybe, hey, wait 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 or maybe maybe like a greasy politician that takes bribes <laughs> mm -hmm. how do you think these people because they have a hundred million dollars from a $200,000 a year salary. You want to tell me how that works? Good no. investments? <laughs> they built their fortune on good investments? <laughs> no. What do they own? The we color know. blue? We can call it insider trading, but there's actually, isn't there a law that uh, says it's okay for them to do that? I, I think so. Yeah, these, I'm pretty sure. These why why they're tolerated i think i'm rebelling against america how do i do that what am i going to do to rebel against america i'd be all by myself doing it so it'd be kind of dumb but hey maybe i'll start the revolution <laughs> let's revolve let's go around in circles because hey i married to circle <laughs> so i'm i'm used to that part hey rob works just showed up hey robert hey, anyway rob. hey I, i've got another answer in question what what what, what? Uh, about who knows who i am here's a free range report the range reporter free range report hey uh Wait, they, I would, they included me in, in this right here, along with uh, uh, Ammon Bundy and uh, who else is in there? Uh, wait, wait. So I try to start a revolution against oh, America. Hey, wait. Just I, change the subject. Yeah, no, this is all part of the revolution. <laughs> it, 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 it matters you stand. Who's next? Bird puke. Oh. That's uh, matters how you stand. Hmm. Uh, uh, Diane, hello. Uh, defending Utah. Uh, there's some others in, in there. Uh, Freedom Lavender. <coughs> Excuse me. It, it has, let, let's just say what it is. It's uh, from the Salt Lake uh, Tribune. Oh. And it's by David. No, I mean from Lee Davidson. It was published a day ago, an updated one day ago, in retaliation for Congress not preventing President from creating new national monuments in Utah. Senator Mike Lee single-handedly blocked a massive public lands package late Wednesday including several bills sought by his colleagues from Utah. Uh, uh, somebody's talking about one thing is getting kicked off a of feces book, and the other one is once they also saw Trump slobbering all over that Jew wall with his little Yamaha on his head. It was sickening. It's like, wow, you traitor. Did you know that America's got more Jews in power than Israel does? Yeah. Think about it. Wow, yeah. that's well, fucked up. I would argue. We're matters. screwed. You can't even <clears throat> you can't even say like what we're doing now, never be commercial. You can't never make any money if you hold a stand against Israel. Fuck. They you can't even boycott them. And now they want to make a law that says we can be prosecuted for boycotting them <laughs> just like wait a minute then what you're gonna have to be forced to buy their fucking product too <laughs> I, I think that they're actually the correct definition would be israelis well uh, perhaps but it's still you know, it's a hijacked religion in the first place there's come on to me not to you to me okay the religions the organized religions that that survive off money vincent that's what I'm talking about. That's okay. why I mock the Jewish thing. 
because it wasn't uh, my idea. And, and every time I bring it up, you try to tell me how not Jewish I am. And I'm trying to tell you, I don't really care. It's not about that. It's about that that game exists. Uh-oh, we lost Vincent. He excused himself. Yeah, I, just but, for a second. Ah, there he is. Mm. But he's playing, in, you know, he likes to experiment while we're live on the radio. And Rob oh. Works did the, yeah, he does the illusionary uh, pass the bubbler to remind us all to, it's time to light up. Thank you, sir, for your hard work. <laughs> Rob Works and his bubbler. And rebel against HFCS and vaccinations to start. Well, you know, I am I think I, in my mind, see, this is what I mean. It's all about. <laughs> You're getting scary. Well, you, you only participate in so much shit that you're aware of, Vincent. <laughs> you know? And I live in a place where, fuck, the only American goods I have are the ones I brought with me. <laughs> there, This is Denmark, so the best I'm going to get is either <clears throat> local or maybe European or other Scandinavian countries. Yeah, Marks in European. Uh, we're talking like uh, Marks in your George. No, but I've been reading all kinds of stuff on the interwebs about hey, Fran France. Every time I hear European, I always think about that sticker on the back of a pickup truck window. Little that's kid cause, there. That's because you're, you're, you're a redneck. Anyway, yeah. uh, I, I read or I saw uh, France has got a rebellion going on. Oh, oh that's what it is. It's what it appears to be. Then I'm going to tell you what happens. All right. Please. Oh, okay. uh, all throughout history, you look at the same thing happen over and over and over. And you've always got the people hidden behind there that is moving this in the direction they want. When it, when it means that you've gone to the streets like that, burning, setting uh, trash cans on fire and busting windows, and you've lost the idea of anarchy. Oh, yeah. That's not an anarchist move. No. That's, uh, that's committing crime, right? So, how do you keep peace? Pick a fight you can win. There you go. Exactly. How about not having any fucking fight at all? That seems how about How about that. just protecting your rights with real liberty? How about that? There's one for you right there, and this is what you can do to help. Come on along. Over to realliberty.org. <laughs> Sign along. Their social website. Uh, also, we're on uh, YouTube, reallibertymedia.com. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, so I've updated the uh, the about part of it. Yeah. yeah. And, and here's a picture I shared there in the chat. And this uh, shows our current uh, channel analytics. Mm. And. But history is uh, is hard to know because of the paid propagandists. Maybe oh, they just absolutely. want to. Maybe they just want to be in control of the way the story ends. MSM uh, floating about in a world of clap. They try to sell it to you as mainstream. It is anything but that. It's not media, as the word used in modern thought. It is propaganda real liberty media rlm is a liberty-based alternative to the corporate lame-ass propaganda clap sources out there most people refer to those sites and sources as mainstream let's click read more mainstream where to go media or news they are neither and we're right here to they can reason raising expectations through thought-provoking episodes RealLibertyMedia.com, RLMRadio.xyz. Mm -hmm. Wow, you're getting good at all that stuff. You're starting, you know, starting to sound better than you did years ago. Hey, we, we've first. we've got. Well, if you're not getting any better, it's time to quit. Uh, we have. Yeah, 30... kiss my butt, Mister. <laughs> I'm not getting any. Better. Hey. <laughs> we have uh, 340 current subscribers. That's up up seven. In the last 28 days, uh, watching time in minutes is 7.8 thousand. It's up 21 percent, and the views are at 822, up 22 percent. What are you what? talking about? Our Real Liberty Media uh, dot com, oh. YouTube, 
Oh, uh, site. okay. Yes. YouTube. Yeah. So we have uh, top videos, and uh, I'll, excuse me, I need to stretch my arm a little bit. Hold on, as I reach around the back. This is where we try. <laughs> the Las Vegas shooting, uh, Hellboy and Dwayne Emer, and from a Bunkerville to Malheur. Ah. Well, I support your shit. Well, I'm I'm nobody. Doesn't matter. Who gives a fuck about that? Come on, it's got nothing. I said I support your shit. I didn't say you, you egomaniac. Wow, uh, back back up a back are up. You, the I, are you taking butterfly side? <laughs> <laughs> are you gonna jump on? Am I a nobody? <laughs> uh, no. But I think you know the reality of no, all this crap. No. Absolutely no. not. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. You're you're like yeah, like a Steve Martin character more than anything. But nah, you, I'm somebody. My name. It's in the phone book. <laughs> yeah. Well. It really is. I can look it up. I have proof and documentation. I am somebody. Remember the video you made of the uh, riding that bull, the electronic bull? Yeah. yeah. That, see, that takes balls to me. <laughs> I, I, couldn't, I couldn't do either, let alone both together. You know, videotape, being on the... Nah, pass. And you did it, and you got, you know, you, you have a good sense of humor like that, where me, I'm all talk. I don't... I don't do this and well, <laughs> I don't do this in a physical way. I do my comedy is still just verbal. You, you're physical about shit. <laughs> that, that is some physical stuff right there. Yeah, uh, me too. But uh, sometimes you got to choose your master carefully. I do. I do every day. Yeah, and you know, and it, when you think about these crazy ideas it. wait a minute i'm bringing up a deep thought here you bonehead and, and, you, and you start thinking about this shit right do our we're promoting the freaking social trap for everybody else <laughs> it's so much fun <laughs> right so what what do exactly do we do and i finally decided that i look at what we all do on the rlm as a radio group our, you know, Mary, I listened to Mary's show Wednesday night. It was great. She did a, and nothing, it wasn't like a, a spectacular kind of thing. It was more like she found herself a, a, a stand to be on. And it's her own fucking stand, and she ain't joining anybody's group at all. <laughs> She's fun to listen to when she talks about it. But she did this story about, uh, Oklahoma school system in Oklahoma. Yeah, I was there for the broadcast. I was born in Tulsa. Okay, now there, oh, okay. Now yeah, you Tulsa, have to send yeah. your your children to school. Your yeah, kids, yeah, yeah, yeah. your your little uh, baby goats. <laughs> Thank you, Hal Anthony. Yeah, until they're <laughs> until they're eighteen, or you will face uh, financial repercussion. Isn't that something? But that's what I mean. But she did you hear? making her stand through the Mary's gotten uh, a lot sterner over the years. She was a lot nicer ex on the external, you know, she would find nicer ways to say that. And now she's just like, <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't think so. Bosco, this ain't flying with me. <laughs> so, wow. Uh, I've got a serious problem here. I've come to Grammy's what? site here on Twitter. And every time I come back at the top, her pen, uh, tweet my heart is gone every time so every time i gotta click it again what is it okay yeah. Vin, Vinny, i got a dope question for you chem trailer they got two masters mm -hmm. sativa and indica and you Yay. did a special with me about pot and you said they were prosecuting the wrong strain in court which one is it that they were prosecuting the uh sativa, that, right no the uh it's a a, a third a name in there um, which exempts these two actually, and, and I don't recall it at the top of my head. Oh, okay, but you remember a long that, time but, ago. Yeah. But we we got a spot player up here, Kim Trailer. <clears throat> but I, it brought back to mind when we did that that show back ways about sativa. It wow, you have a lot of shit on that stuff, man. Hmm? Mm -hmm. You but have done I'm trying your to research find well, show. huh? 
I'm looking for Grammy's show from uh, last Wednesday, so I can include it. I'm back it's, to yeah, December it's, 20th. Am I going to see for Some bitch shoot and Spreaker and YouTube. Where? Well, I wanted to pin her tweet in this in our blog here. Is what I'm doing. Okay, now Grimner's got now Grimner's got us out at this new thing called uh, iHeart Radio or is. something. Well, I don't know much about it, so I'm very sheltered here in my little Danish suburb. And you know what little bit of American I do, I do on the internet, and I spend a, a lot of you know a lot of time on that playing games. So yeah, my internet time, like doing research and all that, it's very limited. Or I'll, I'll listen to links while I'm doing my puzzle, just listen to p or radio programs. And uh, <laughs> Moose and Grimner and the crazy. Oh, Christmas music. I got up for about half of the show today. Poor right. Cirque. She was trying to keep Hannah quiet and doing all the keeping the dog quiet is what woke me up. <laughs> it's like life, you know. What do you do? You get mad because you woke up. What kind of what kind of thing is that to do? Hey, guess what? There's some people ain't gonna wake up. <laughs> I'm a bobblehead. And I wasn't talking about them being awake uh, and aware and all that sort of such nonsense. Because having the knowledge is useless. Is It doesn't do anything. Worthless. Get, getting schooled. Yeah, but having the knowledge doesn't fucking help anything. And then telling the next guy, ah, they just look at you like you're nuts. So it's this is a... It's a very strange gathering of minds that's going to go on in the electronic world until something gives in society. Because they're living under the threat of violence everywhere you go. Oh, constant. Why and so serious? I don't know, but that's the, the visual I get from the information I see. People are being uh, diversified right into their anger bone, slapping somebody. You know, enough help. Stop helping us. <laughs> I read uh, Norway or something has had enough with the immigrants. No more immigration. Fuck this. <laughs> Thank you, United Nations and America and Great Britain, France, and all the other Israel and all you other warmonger motherfuckers out there doing all this shit to people for nothing but a grin. I, I don't get it. What are they getting out of it? Well... Thanks to all of that, we have such songs as War Pigs from Black Sabbath. Yeah, but Vinny, we got people that seriously fucking support this war machine and its enemies, and it's a bunch of crap. It's a bunch of nonsense. What, what, what do these enemies do that has ever justified the shit that they get? <laughs> it's just America bombing around, you know, bullying the world. That's what that's what a, a control freak does. It's fun, right? Uh, I don't know. You're a peacenik, so I don't know. But I would just assume that because you are where you're at, and the way you've lived your life, you know, you know your fair share of people that are for this, and you'll have to you have to uh, associate with them. You can't; they're unavoidable unless you want to live in the city. <laughs> Country folk are just a little bit more mm, uh, conservative about who they allow to be within arm's reach. <laughs> what do you think, Vincent? Well, you got to be within arm's reach. Maybe you got to hold up. Well, that's what I call it because you know, if you run your mouth in a in a country place about like uh, an American tradition in a certain light, the the normal people of the redneck society there will band up and get mad at you for doing so. So all this weird, all these weird divides in society are real. They're 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 really there, and there are people that really believe in these ideas that are just complete nonsense. But to them, they're real for some reason. My mom was like that, racist. Ooh, terrible. Did you have a really fast car? No, no, no. She she didn't like the darkies. 
my mama was a racist. Now, me not, not so much. And that goes back to uh, Denmark. Goes back to Denmark. What are you talking about? Racing stripes. Denmark. Racing strike. My. European. Oh, you're uh, <coughs> confusing me with your great witticism now, Mr. O. Anyway, so you've chosen your master. I think I should choose a master now, but I don't want one. Now what do I do? Punt. Hmm. What if I want to live in total chaos, never knowing from day to day what will happen tomorrow? Hmm. Stay tuned for another thrill-packed, exciting episode of... <laughs> the Dork Table. All right, thanks for listening. We'll see you all next time. On the Dork Table Podcast. Well, what's the next one going to be? I don't know. Uh the I same still, thing it is every week, Twinkie. I I think we're in the midst, in the air of revolution in can society. You, can you feel it coming in the air tonight? Mm -mm. Like Mike Tyson. No, no but I, 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 I... I bite your ear off. You'll listen to me one way or another if I carry your ear around in my mouth. And you'll hear me every time I talk. Uh -huh. Well, no, that's not really how I meant it. Well, but some. There's a lot of links on videos on uh, the interwebs that I've seen over the years, and it's the buildup is it's cooking. I can see that I can see changes in the way people are behaving on the film. They didn't used to talk like that. Now it's like, wait a minute, everybody's talking like this. So shift is coming. And it's probably going to be an uncomfortable little earthquake for a few folk. Feel my pain. I don't want to. No, 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 no. I'm I'm in a neutral zone, man. I ain't playing in that shit. You can have my American, and I'll. <laughs> I don't need it. Appreciate it. It was fun while it lasted, but <laughs> no. <laughs> uh oh. Moose Girl said the show is over. Nah, that was just Vinny Hank being a. <laughs> he's being funny, and and I thought you knew, because we do this. We've done this old joke so many times. Sometimes we do it like thirty minutes into the show. See you next week, everybody. <laughs> that was terrible. We'll we're gone. <laughs> but anyway, so what do you think about that parental rights thing in Oklahoma? You got an opinion on any of that shit or do you care? doesn't matter. Well, let's dwell on the problem. Feel my pain, baby. I'm not, I ain't got a dog in that fight. Well, I don't believe your truth anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but you know, is it a social and or a government crime? What do you call that? No. Call it both. I'd no. say that that's the, well, it doesn't matter that the system kidnaps people and holds them hostage for money. <laughs> what are you going to do about it? <laughs> not, not live in Oklahoma. That's first. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I, yeah. th I ain't living there. <laughs> I, I've been through it many times. And I liked Oklahoma City. And other oh, you know what? what? Here's one for you. Yeah, Oklahoma mm -hmm. City used to be a stinking... <laughs> Crap hole, and and Tulsa was such a shining city. Now it's yeah. uh, oh Tulsa, uh, no, you get you got to go outside of Tulsa to get me on the the poop <laughs> the poopy. Yeah. Oh, in Oklahoma City, they cleaned it up. It's a it's a rather shiny example of uh, cities as they be. Well, it's managed somehow. You know, how do you have a sparkling, pristine place and then, you know, a mile away you've got decay and, and litter? And I believe it's all by design. Cause well, it is uh, 99 miles across the Turner Turnpike. Some say it's 102. Turner Turnpike. Turnpike. Yeah. That's between, it? it connects Where? Tulsa and Oklahoma City. Okay. Because I'm yeah. in Denmark and I haven't been to Oklahoma in many years. Pay the way hmm. well i got an old boring old hitchhiking story from oklahoma though i hitchhiked I across the turner when i was 14 well, well, and I was in, Las Vegas. 
Yeah, well, this is a clean kind of family kind of story. It's nothing yes. sick happened till the morning after mm. that, that, that I left. So the story is really to, to tell the end result of it. But what happened is I was uh, crossing the country or whatever have you, and, and it was raining in Oklahoma City. And there were, on I-35, there was a Denny's restaurant. <coughs> and I figured, well, I, I won't be, you know, it can stay dry and have a meal and just be pissed off it's rain and maybe wait it out and try to hitchhike later. Anyway, so I go in the restaurant and I have something to eat and drink and some coffee. And I've been there a bit now by that point. This guy down the, uh, down the uh, counter has a big old cast on his arm. I guess it caught my eye. And I must have stared at the guy or stared his way or something. And he, he re yells across the restaurant at me. You got a problem with me, boy? <laughs> you know, I said, nah, just looking at your cast, I suppose. And that was that. And a few minutes later, he come over and said, well, where are you hitchhiking to? And he felt bad about yelling at me and wanted to, you know can I get you a coffee or something? You know, he was trying to make up for it. Anyway, end up, he took me over to his house with him and his wife and his kids were, kids were there. And they, you know, he introduced me to him. Oh, if they like you, you know, you can crash here for the night and stay out of the rain, leave in the morning. And we used to do these kind of things in the eighties when I was young. So anyway, I crashed there. They even uh, had some cookies or so anyway, they were really nice people. And uh, I leave the place in daylight about 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock in the morning. And uh, as I'm walking towards the interstate, I see a cop car. That doesn't scare me, and I'm not going the opposite direction. None of that horse shit. But what I was going to do is use that bit of road where the cop was to walk up and not have to go walk around looking for an on-ramp. I was going to go right up on the road. And the closer I got to the cop, the more I noticed, hey, there's another cop car. And what the hell is that on the, on the cement? And it appeared I'd walked, you know, by the time I'd gotten as close to it as I was going to because the cops were there, it looked like a dead body. Wow. Right. Well, I have this memory flashback to me occasionally. Not, not very often, but it was... Uh, I don't know if, if the body was alive or dead. It's just the way that it was, I see it, past tense. But in my mind, I've always saw that as somebody got, you know, dumped on the f cement and they weren't alive anymore. <laughs> and the cops were all there, and uh, but I didn't see an ambulance. So, and me, I'm not, man, I was just <laughs> passing through. <laughs> the cops didn't even look at me. Well. Wow. Right, but it's such a, you know, things like that, that to me, in my mind, that stand out. Now, i got this radio thing I can do with you, and sometimes they're interesting and sometimes they're not. But to me, that was that was like, wow. And it was the only, the only time it ever happened in my whole life. Because I've mentioned many times, I've never seen shootouts and bank robberies. And, but the one time in Oklahoma City, I did trip across that. But still, 25, 30 fucking yards... From what I was looking at, it might have been wrong, but it sure looked like so. And you don't go up to the <laughs> cops and start asking them questions. They just shoo you away. You know? And that's a short story? Oh, yeah. Wasn't it? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, well. Hey, your dude, turn. All in all, you're just another prick in the wall. Probably. Probably. But I didn't hurt anybody. It was just, you know, that's how the road for me went and i always wondered you know i've looked back and wondered why did i see that what was the purpose of that lesson in life hmm. well maybe maybe not everything has a reason and some things are just random and happenstance and my job in life is to discern one from the other you get paid for this no it's my existence <laughs> what's the job paid. your job <laughs> your existence is a job my my responsibility to um uh, you have to work to at it myself, all day probably yeah i think my body does it when my mind's not thinking about it hmm. yeah. i have a i have a hitchhiking story but i don't know if it'd be uh, considered racist or not why not <laughs> well it was uh me and a friend of mine we was about 14 and 
uh, we knew each other, you know, since we started school and, uh, I'd like cut through his yard and others and stuff and shortcutting and that sort of thing. Yeah. I started working at the school at first grade in Tulsa. Uh, you couldn't imagine allowing a kid to do that in this day and age. Not at all. Anyways, he and I hitchhiked out to Vegas from Tulsa. Remember that 99 miles across the Turner turnpike. Uh, well, we, uh, we yeah, you mentioned that. Yeah. So anyways, we get over around, uh, uh, where was we at over somewhere about Gallup, New Mexico. We'd already, uh, passed the uh, Graham and Moriarty, but he probably wasn't even there. He's still down in, uh, Southern California at that time. Probably maybe. Oh, I got a story about Grimner. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. You said, you said that earlier. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hey Chloe, shall we, uh, shall we tell them about, uh, <laughs> uh Grimner? I, I've got some good news and some bad news. Uh, Good news is you've got uh, my cookies and my card, and you need to uh, send them to me. <laughs> the bad news is, is uh, your cookies are half gone. <laughs> uh, so, anyways, uh, hitchhiker over there about Gallup and uh, Randy Rattling Gord. Uh, he's a uh, Cherokee Indian. Anyways, we get picked up by a Paiute over there, and he's headed up to Moapa, up where I uh, lived at one point in life, and over there pretty close to the Bundy Ranch. And, you know, all that tie-in of being uh, 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 oh, that goes back to M.D. Lauder saying that <laughs> stay home, don't come back to Vegas or something. <laughs> uh, so anyways, they decide to get drunk, and I drive to Vegas. I said about 14, well, at 14 years old. Yeah. Uh, but drunk Indians, I don't think that's a tellable tale because it's racist, right? Huh? Huh? Wait, you, you no, you bleeped out. What, what did you say then again? A, a story about two Indians getting drunk. That would be a racist story. Would it? I think so. And to, in the, the new normal of today. Oh, crap. Yeah, I mean, wow. I, I used to <sighs> correct. I used racist. to correct. Listen. I used to correct uh, this fellow I worked for. Every time he'd say, uh, talking about, uh, he'd say this colored man. And I'd say, what color is he? And I'd say it every time he'd say black. And not, you know, I, me referring to black folks. But uh, so Clive and Bundy said, Negro. I mean, what words are good and which ones ain't? Can I call a refrigerator an icebox? I don't know. Can you? Well, I don't do prohibition, remember? I'm adult, so I need to ask. Well, <laughs> then do what would adult do? Adult would follow the fucking rule no matter how stupid the rule is. That's what makes adult adult. When they ain't got the backbone to say, I ain't doing that, that's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Grimner, he's not he's been clued into uh the inside Whoa. information now. Uh yeah. Go ahead and just uh, put my address down there on there, Grim. Put them back in a box when they come. <laughs> I'll uh, <laughs> I'll send you <laughs> what's left of yours. <laughs> Thank you, Chloe. Uh, Thank uh, you, Chloe. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> cough, cough, man. You're making me all cough. Anyway, uh, I get it, Mister Cookies. Christmas cookies. Hey, you know what I get for you know what I get? Mm. Dan D homemade Danish cookies. Oh. Uh, you know by who? By Circle. Circle. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you, yeah. She she does that kind of that holiday stuff. She she doesn't do it every. We, they pass back and forth from sisters. They do it at one house one year and the our house the next year. Where they all do it together. Yippity doo da, yippity yay! I was just saying, it ain't so bad. It's just Christmas. <laughs> bah Christmas. Humbug. Yeah, and I'm a bah humbug kind of Christmas guy. <laughs> yeah, I thought you knew that. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Bah humbug. So what? What does that really mean anyway? Oh, look it up. You look it up. Oh. You're why? Because I'm doing other things. I'm looking up something else. Oh, you see, because you're... And I'm laughing. Because <laughs> I'm eating Grimner's cookies. 
Oh, so there was a mismailing, or well, what, what happened? Uh, actually, the cards are switched inside, so I don't know if I if he got a bigger box or I got a bigger box. I don't know who Chloe loves more, Grimner or me. So this will this will be forever unanswered. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I got a really serious question to ask you. I Mr. doubt that, Brain. but go ahead. <laughs> no, this is this is. This question is designed to to reach the inner crevices of your of your third eye. Now, you ready for this? Mm -hmm. Are you sitting down? I'm sitting down. Okay. Have you got something to drink in front of you? Yeah, next okay. to me. Okay. Now, just relax. <laughs> what is looking at both sides? What does that mean? It means you cross-eyed. <laughs> okay. You get it. See? Me and Vinny, ah, you're killing the show, though, you bonehead. Give me the quick answer. <laughs> yeah, but see, people really believe that they can look at both sides of the, of an argument, and I don't think they can, because your your mind's already decided. You've picked a side already. <laughs> well, you you're, know, you're, you're, is you're it just a... liking one side better than the other. Sure, we are. Does our emotions uh, really control our our point of thinking? A lot of times, it does, doesn't it? Um, I don't know. Is is liking the color blue? Got, I mean, it, how do you define that? I, I like the color blue. Wow, you know, it doesn't change your quality of life in any way. You're just looking at a certain color. But the idea behind it is a lot stronger than just the color blue. It seems to mean more. Maybe not. I uh, thought I'd well because you've been doing lots of interesting things with words the last year. Well, I've so I've, I I've thought, tried to yeah, I've tried to do exactly that. Take a, a look uh, at all points in my engagement over here, or else I'd just be in a, a echo chamber and, um, without <laughs> any perspective. Well, I mean, what kind of reporter <laughs> would I be? Yeah, I, I got to go back and answer that question, uh, reporter. I haven't been on the job training the whole way. Yeah. I don't know how to do a bunch of stuff and didn't know how, oh, to, you know, but goodness. I did it anyways. If you can't do great things, do small things in a great way. Yeah. But what, what is all this title shit about telling somebody else what happened? That a reporter. Oh, I can God. only tell my story, right? Exactly. And you only have the proof that you have available to you so if you put it on video there's your proof People i have can't fight that i have so much stuff mm. that uh, i just don't know how i'll ever bring it all together but i'm uh i'm <laughs> it anyways radio writing oh, series uh, yeah it's two weeks away <laughs> premiere know. 13 and a half uh part series yeah you were <laughs> driving poor hansel crazy trying to figure out when you're going to come on the radio mm. Yeah, he's your number one fan, pal. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. yeah. When you start your cult, that's the quality of member you're going to get. <laughs> Hansel. <laughs> the only cult I like is Colt 45, baby. Not cult. Cult, you dork. Come on, get with it. I, I ain't got to get with your cult. You train wreck. You'll you know, do as you're fucking told. You or I'll fire you. <laughs> I'll fire you. <laughs> Eat it up, baby. Coat 45. Well, you know, when people get along, right, it's it's easy to, like me and you, we throw the shit back and forth. But when, when, now he's singing. But when people yeah. get along at a, at a realistic <laughs> level in, a, in, a, in a, their adulthood, they get beyond Oops. the meanings of words and shit like that. <laughs> Because I've said some horrible things to you. You don't pay no fucking attention to it. You just keep talking. <laughs> how, so, how, but, yeah. I mean, what do you do with the with the words of adult? Every does, yeah. jot and tittle. See? So it doesn't matter if they're insults or if they're, you know, uh, not insults. Mm. Whatever the comment is, Good. it's got the same value. Well... But look at the players. Say hello yeah. to my little friend. We all got to interpret things in our own special little way. <laughs> Whatever. I, I want to say hello to your <laughs> skipper. <laughs> I was last week. I didn't get a name yeah, today. Gilligan. <laughs> wow. 
You didn't get a name today. Yeah, I'm Dolt. Just Dolt being... boy. <laughs> Dolt of the year. Daltonstein. <laughs> Vinny dangerous. <laughs> Vinny dangerous. Vinny dangerously. Jeez. Well, yeah, because you put yourself out there where people like butterfly lips <laughs> will say horrible things about you. But you got to give it credit for at least having the nut to, to type it to you. But, nah, that's a bunch of horse well, shit. Well, listen, I figured it out. What What is this thing over here? Hmm. It's the tabloids. All these guys that bring it all, this little uh, cult classic of uh, uh, Bundyville. Hmm. The the true followers, not the those that, that, that call us followers, but us that are leaders, the lowly. That, uh, that step up to, to the front and not hide behind a Twitter handle. But even my secret identity, I'm not hiding. I'm a Capitani uh, Zani. That's all right. Scaramouche, yeah. do you fantango? Well, here, let me let me tell you a little. Very, very frightening. Yeah. Let me... hey, Go ahead. I got nostalgic there, Vincenzo. Go ahead. Be, because my, my uh, alias name, that I use the flash somebody name that came as a product of the uh, internet. And I, I started using that way before I ever got on um, real Liberty media. Well, that was already part of my thing. Well, yeah, but I didn't want to use my state given slave name on the internet. You act like you're I black. Wanted... No, are you, well, are you a black man trapped in a, uh, no, but we're, we're all niggers to the state. Because the state uses people and abuses them. Thirteenth Amendment, original Thirteenth Amendment. Now, can't, I, I yeah. failed to listen. I failed to include that into the description of uh, uh, the uh, you know, reason to ride with uh, Dwayne Emer. Uh, that was a uh, one of those things that I went out and did, other than and beyond uh, Bunkerville. Went to uh, Lompoc Penitentiary, where uh, Dwayne Emer had ridden his uh, horse Hellboy. Uh, 1100 miles well they made the trip to the other part of it was in transportation in the trailer but they did make that trip where he turned himself in uh in, in that video with uh jamie landon i uh take a call in from tom uh thomas lockavar stewart and he and william wagner talk about the uh, 13th amendment that the original it's uh, been replaced so uh mr wagner has uh, in his possession about uh, three three books from way but way way back when and showing that original uh, 13th amendment mm. well you know what i was thinking <clears throat> that um it's kind of cool that people like you and chloe and grimner are are beyond just the electronic <laughs> world you actually know each other a little bit with your cookie exchange program i thought it was kind of cool yeah, yeah. yeah well, well, where we are is so we're so far out of the send it to us zone, me and circus. Mm, this is yummy. Yeah, it costs a fortune to send shit to us, so we don't have too many things sent to us. Well, we send you some cyber hugs, buddy. Well, yeah, but that's free, and I always get Cirque for the regular ones, but. It's just, you know, the holiday thing. I could give two flying squats about Christmas. But what I do like is when people get along with each, you know, with each other. And it's, it's not all about bombing Norway. You know? So, let's just... Uh, I was recognizing the good stuff because I bitch enough about all the shit that goes let, on. Let me, let me further expound. Uh, Grimner says that uh, I'm glad I have a passion for the whole Bundy thing, but it doesn't interest him. Now, let me tell you why. It is so important. And mm -hmm. I was corrected in saying precedent, but, um, and I said that this is case setting precedent for how we will move forward and uh, we'll, for redress of grievance. When we, uh, when we have a, a problem with the decision of governmental agencies, uh, uh, no matter what uh, letters are attached to their uh, so-called authority, but mm -hmm. we know, when we say, wait a minute, look, we're, we're not accepting this being a governed at gunpoint uh, and people to say we're going to come here and not not just a handful, not a dozen or 
or even a hundred, but by overall into the thousands. And then one day by the hundreds come to say, hold on. No, hell no. That's, that's the importance that that's why, that's why this well, is important. And it's not over. I listened to you on a video with a female, you know, me and re repeating names and all that. But what you two were talking about, <clears throat> The girl you were speaking with said something similar to this. This wasn't so much about the Bundys. That's just how we talk about it. Love this, goes, this goes way deeper. It's about the laws that are attached to it and how they do this to families for 20-year periods and wear them down in court and keep them poor. Yeah. You know, and that side's not heard very much. People don't, they don't know. If that was even an option, that's not the official story you're going to get from the government. But I heard this woman you were speaking with. What's that's her name? Dodie. Okay, and I heard her say it, and she didn't sound like she was some kind of wackadoodle make crap up. It it was very believable. Yeah. So she and, she and I uh, well, were at, uh, on UCY. She uh, Mike knows her. Right, so. but that. That thing you were reading about, you know, trying to make money off this and, oh, the Bundys. The Bundys is the – that's actually the distraction from the BML or the BLM. The, yeah. the, 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 I got tongue twisted. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but the the Bureau of Land Management bullshit. It, and it, if you start paying attention to the Bundy thing, you don't n notice the BLM thing over here they're not talking about because you're talking about this guy instead. Not not the crap the government did to this guy, but the guy. <laughs> right there it is. So all that's, of a uh, sudden, hey, so uh, SLC, wait. there's uh, there's Zodi. That's uh, that's her and I. Uh, two weeks in uh, May first of uh, 2014. Uh, a little later on, she and I met up there at the Bundy Ranch again, and we did some interviews. And uh, I got I go long list of that stuff. Uh, we spoke with. Uh, uh, Jason Patrick, who I referred to as uh, George Clooney, and a funny thing is later on there, later up in uh, Oregon at the uh, Mayer stand up there, uh, that was his code name that he took, Clooney. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> another I, little was... piece of me in history, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's not what I was pointing out, you bonehead. I was trying to make a point of it's about a bigger problem and and putting. And like the shooting the the uh, the kid with a uh, all these things they did were distractions from the law that this was all about. Well, uh, you're gonna they're gonna tie you up in court for the government's gonna be there in twenty fucking years. Yeah. What do they care what you charge them with? You prove it. You're gonna go into a court that's rigged in their favor and prove they did anything to themselves? Are you nuts? You're going you're gonna to just spend 20 years in court and they'll just wait you out. And you'll be forgotten. Well, this, this is a big game that they play with us, pal. And and it's all accepted by the the people that live there. I'm, I'm including know. this uh, video here. Um, but, I put up uh, here. Are you so, still pumping up your stuff? I'm sorry. I'm adding so it. Continue. Hush, hush your mouth. Okay. <laughs> but in, in the uh, video description there on the YouTube and in the bit shoot video, it'll be down in the comments section. The, the, the more uh, we're looking at a history of Smoky Valley, Nevada, and, and on to uh, Bruce Babbitt, and the 1994 rangeland reform, cattle sheep grazing re regulations and expert analysis, best science, la ti da ti da. And we're talking, uh, Doty specifically was talking about uh, the Wayne Hage uh, Hage conspiracy in Rico by government, uh, and that's on my uh, WordPress at uh, uh, Vince UCY TV. Uh, you can find it in the uh, video description, and, and on and on. The uh, the former chief uh, of uh, where is it Raymond Yolo, a Shoshone chief, uh, BLM cattle grazing fees, and them telling him you better stay back, and uh, we're taking your cows, and on and on and. Uh, so it's so much more included uh, with uh, that talk that she and I had. Yeah, I was just bringing it up because I thought a lot of the conversation ending in 
this is about a much bigger problem that has gone on for a lot longer period of time. Sure. And pointing out the Bundys is a way to get your mind off the real problem and pick on the Bundys. Well, yeah, um, you, you've got to have a bad guy. And, and in my radio writing series, I talk about the uh, the leaders, the, the, those heroes. And why, why is a hero different today? And, and in order to uh, understand that, we have to go back and look at the uh, – why the villain is different today. And that's been an evolutionary process over the last several decades and, and bring, bringing about this, uh, you know, this social spectrum spectrum that we're in uh, and our perspectives and why, why they're slanted, why they're, they're tainted or, or colored as it be. be. Well, why is because the laws were allowed to be written that way. Hey, the good news uh, is it is 420 somewhere. Thank you. Salud. But, well, the the inmates are running the asylum, Vincent. Look look around you. We ha we have a society that's okay with fluoride in their water and their toothpaste and their makeup products because they're beyond reason. I mean, why would you willingly participate if you know better? I don't get it. It makes no sense to me because, like Mary says on you know, her in a rocket chair prod podcast is vote with your wallet. You know, if you're against something, don't buy it. But people don't, they don't hold up, man. My boycott's in terrible. Nobody wants to support my, I got Roundup, no thank you. I got Israel, no thank you. I've got, who else do I got? <laughs> that I, I do not support uh, big oil, no thank you. And they still fuck me because I got a buddy they call Big Earl works over there in the stock yards. Yeah, but I was whining about all. The I don't know what you got again, my buddy there, fella. But I'll tell you what now. Mm. Hey, all right. <clears throat> oh, I was trying to go back and explain something about the way me and you do this stupid radio shit. Uh, are you calling me adult? I guess. Why well, you like being a called adults? Hey, it working is <laughs> working for me today. Yeah, but remember we were had that conversation about how ridiculous, how ridiculous arguing looks to the people that aren't involved in it. In the you know, world, to, in in the in the electronic world, when we're typing, we're all fucking each other back and forth and typing. It it looks ridiculous to if you're not involved in it. It just what the fuck is that about? Like, remember, okay, remember Beth Z would have problems with a certain female I won't name? <laughs> do you, uh, do you hear, wait the, a minute, do you hear the music? No, I'm asking you a question, you butt nugget. All right, try again. Be, okay, me and Hans, but a I little, don't always hear, wait, wait, I wait, 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 listen, listen. I need you to really feel feel what you're saying. Put yourself into it. Let me have the emotion. Now, now come, give it to me again. <clears throat> Make me feel it. I want to want it. Okay. Go. All right. Ready? Yeah. Me and Hansel do not seem to see eye to eye hold, on social hold, topics. Hold on a minute. I need to stop yes. you right there. Uh, get, get a Kleenex. Barman, get him a Kleenex, please. Why? Oh, you sound nasally. Exactly, sir. And oh, okay. as, as I was as I was trying to explain to you here, uh, we don't see eye to eye on many social values. Some people, in my opinion, don't have any. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> well, but but the the bantering between me and him in type. Okay, if you don't care about the the argument in the first place, and you're just reading this shit on the internet. That argument not affecting you looks a whole lot different. Are you stoned because, or lazy? Yeah, both. But when it was Beth <laughs> and it was Beth and that other girl, I didn't have a horse in the race, but, you know, it was the one person was playing a victim of something. <laughs> and the other one was just stomping on a carrot <laughs> to me. That's what I saw. But I didn't have a, a, a side to be on. Which do you like better? The sticker, Which do I like? The sticker, the carrot. Uh, I don't know. But I like the results of I'm what came of that. it. 
And it and it's but I would never tell anybody to leave. I'd tell them to shut up or go to Starbucks and go wash some dishes or something, but not leave the site. Are you kidding me? There's there's no freedom in telling somebody else what to do. Who's going to tell me what to do if I start telling them what to do? That'd be fucked up. Yeah. That's Hell, all comes together. Well, right. But, you know, the, Hannibal doesn't have any fucking rights. She's a dog. She has to do everything we want her to do. She's a dog. So, rough. you know, it's rough. A, a dog's life, it's rough. Okay. <laughs> but but a carbon based life form to me is a carbon based life form. One in, in a weird way is no better or worse than the other. There's an equal thing to it. But then when you start thinking about things on a different levels of exterior reality, how we see things, then the playing field shifts. But me and Hannah are very close, so I would choose Hannah over other people to certain, you know, in certain things. And she's a dog. <laughs> so there's times I would choose my dog over a human being. Wow. Isn't that fucked up? <laughs> well, is it? In a way it is, but then in another way it shows you where the loyalty's at. The loyalty is to the dog that's loyal because you know she's so tight with me so i'm tight back with her but it's just amazing that it, as being alive and all this that you can do that with an animal and they're they're so loyal it's beyond words how to explain how loyal a dog is stuck in the middle and all you got to do is feed them i mean that's it i got a cat that's the same way this cat comes in and he purrs and rubs all over my leg and all that kind of cat shit cats do <laughs> when they're claiming their dominance and owning you. <laughs> and it looks like some kind of cat thing, so you don't know. <laughs> it's a disguise to submission, but it's really pissing all over you, marking its territory. <laughs> ah, my wrong country, boy. And that's huh? what makes life grand. Yeah, but a dog will just lick you. You know, the cat, no, the cat's got rituals and because we got a dog and we got a cat. And if you look at people are the same kind of like that. <laughs> some are like dogs and some are like cats. And to me, in my evaluation of my fellows, I, I often compare them to animals. You're an animal. Yeah, sometimes. I, I think we've been all conditioned to believe that. Sure. I'm an animal. Yeah, right. Why? I don't know. Well, what do I have in common with an animal besides being a mammal? Your life is rough. It makes you like a dog. Not hardly, PJ. What you talking about? Have, did you bump your head again, sport? Mm, probably. Huh? 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 Who you think you're talking to? Slim Jim Flim or something? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Where is those Slim I have... Jim? Well, I, I don't know, but I, I've got a boring old guy life, I tell you all the time. Now, now all of a sudden, <laughs> come on, nothing happens. It's so uh, comfortable, I think. That's what I think, call it. Just like uh, like being in a hammock. <laughs> hey, check it out. Uh, Kim Triller got his first duck in real liberty meeting. Oh. Six point, two, seven, two seconds. Is that good? I don't know. I don't play the ducks. I'm not a duck player. Go figure. You know why? You have no I'm sense too. of adventure. Yeah. Because you are you... not a country boy, my friend. You have no, no. idea about hunting, fishing. All you dolts are every all... day. You're missing the point. All you dolts are doing it. You don't. You, you don't need me in there. And then what would you do if I was good at it and I stole all your fucking ducks? I only get the ducks, ducks I get. I'm happy. I'm happy with the ducks I get. I got I a duck. Go in there and get I got it. a duck. Yeah. Is somebody knocking? Yeah. Somebody's knocking. Knock, knock. Say, say hi to the world. Hi, say hi. Dodging hi. the damn Wait a minute. Place. I got company. Hold on. Say hi. Hi. Hey. Yes, you. I already said hey. Say it loud. Hello. 
Hello. Okay. Okay. Just, Hello. Wait. Right. Hush. Go we'll ahead. Hello. Wait, not you. Hush. In like 25 minutes. Say again. Will you be ready to go to town in 25 minutes? Ah, uh, I will be ready in 35 minutes. Oh. Uh, 30 minutes here and. You just want to give me some cash? No. I ride with you. 35. That's 25. only 10 more. No, 25. We'll be back down in 25 minutes. All right. I guess I'm leaving early. Flash. <laughs> I better I better copy and send all this to uh, to Gremner. Zig Heil mine Yeah, it's 20, yeah, 25 and not better. 35. Yeah, you better by God, country. <laughs> Don't not do it, man. I'm doing it. <clears throat> you better get on it. Jump, then, chop. This is what we get. Don't just sit around like some kind of guy in charge. Mm -hmm. Gremner, you'll have to. Uh, you'll have to clean up as as uh, as necessary here let me see what i got uh, so are you are you going to get a red hat and support donald trump and become a republican uh not particularly probably not no. why not wait a minute you have to why you because you're in arkansas and isn't arkansas a red state um Wait a minute. It's been traditionally it's Democrat. That's uh oh, that's uh, blue. Re Republican. Oh, uh, so which way is it? I don't, you don't I, even know. No. You must not be a statist. Are you a statist? Radio at Liberty. Are you uh, or not are account. you a statist? You I, I make a statements statist? all of the time. Oh no, I uh, did not. Oh, I did not spell check my stuff. Uh oh. He Crap. did not spell I'm, check. I'm being rushed. Wow. Uh, at He's length is rushed. wrong. Yeah. Remove so, inspire. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Yeah. I don't know. I, I guess we'll. Hey, you want you want to fluff up old Grimner's new show on Monday night? Huh? Talk about that for a minute. No. Oh, Grimner, he's got his. You don't? Okay. Yeah, you do it. Mind. I'm <laughs> doing things here, man. That was funny. <laughs> yeah, Grimmy got himself a, uh, another show that he uh, started two weeks back. He's been on twice, I think. No, he's been and on three I, times. It might have been four. Wait a minute. Come up no, to four? Huh? It's been two. Two Mondays back, you bonehead. Oh, when he was on anyway, and not how many shows? Two shows so far. No. Because I get reruns. You're if, okay. Don't be adult, please. Uh, can't help it. It's what I do. Okay, well, carry on. Episode number two. I just listened to it the other day. So, you tell me. Anyway, but, uh, yeah, I like his show. That's it. I do. If you, if you haven't heard it, you got to check him out. Because he delivers his stuff the way he does. And he has his particular, you know, like you. You and me got our own what particular way of looking at shit. What I do. Huh? Or even Rob Works has quite his own unique and special way. No? I thought so. I could tell the difference between you three fellas. Uh, I see. What's my one wrong? Even when I'm under the influence of Getting. cannabis. Good enough. The evil devil's lettuce has me by the short hair. Oh, subject. Ah. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. I'm not talking to you. Hey, you're not talking to me. Yeah, he's never talking to me. He's always doing his typing and yeah, his uh, research and his, his stuff. Uh, he's probably got a PM going on with Hansel right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm emailing. <laughs> big I mean, a... I'm emailing Big Papa. <laughs> Graham, uh, you better, better to check me here. That was still funny. Hello, Donna. The, <laughs> the truth is boring, but the, the, it is, the, it is. the rumor I just started was funny as hell. Me how? <laughs> because, yeah, you and, you and um, Hansel are, are PMing on the hey, cowboy right now. <laughs> I don't know. Mostly. I like I like pick I like picking on your your yeah. your friend Hans well, cuz he's fun. You're adult. I can't help it. If you're adult then you know it raise your hand. 
If you're adult and you know it, raise your hand. You got uh, your hand up? No. If I you're adult and you know it, lift your uh, hand and let the world know it. <laughs> Dance a jig and really show it. Wow. <laughs> and that there's some kind of hillbilly takeover going on on the real liberty media dot chat. This is adult alert, adult alert. Yeah. Red rednecks taking over the RLM chat. I repeat, this is not an alert. <laughs> rednecks are taking over the RLM chat. What are you going to do? I mean, jeez, shut it down. <laughs> Help, help, we're being rednecked. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> I, I, I got lose that. you again. No, huh? I got that. Huh? Hey, I got that uh, for the blog. Kim trailer. Chloe. Uh, whoops, for, for pick. Well, I didn't type what I meant to say. But we're on the dark table doing the dark adult extra. Based on what? Are we adults or are they adults? Ah, look, speaking adult. Oh, I'm so... Kabam! Oh, ding, 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 ding. Putin shooting. I don't know. What? Give me a. a give me the result of an action uh, that would cause you to call me adult. Because you're dim witted house oh please you're a demo that, listen that listen what, listen just... man. somebody should have told you long ago okay oh, okay yeah yeah tell me what i just told you see that's why you're <laughs> damn dull <laughs> <laughs> hey wow I you know I, you this are. is my day job come on Missy. god you <laughs> but do you have any idea how funny you are? You're no. you're like, yeah, you're like a funny guy. No, I, do, do, do I make you laugh it? like a clown? Uh, huh? Yeah, like a clown. Shut you make me laugh. Baby. <laughs> Three hugs. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna you gonna go get your baseball bat and beat up my car because you make me laugh? No. Well, that's good no. to hear. I'm, I'm just going to invite you over to stay for a while. <laughs> you got to see my, my secret identity, uh, uh, Scaramouche. A uh, Capitani Azani. Uh, that's right. That's me. Yeah. How do well, you do? Do you? Fantastic. My wife, my wife compromised <laughs> and said she'll go, to, she'll go to America with me, but only to Delaware. That's, that's, that's not a good choice. That's her way of saying she just doesn't ever want to go to America. Hmm. It's the only place she wants to go is Delaware, and we all know that. That's not so good. What are you going to do in Delaware? Nothing. I'm not going. Hey, go to Philly, man. Get a, a Philly team. No, that would be, see, she won't go. She said <laughs> Delaware only. Not anywhere else, just Delaware. There's because, there's uh, other great places like Texas and, across the river. And her reasoning is that creepy Joe Biden comes from Delaware, and that's where his state, that's got to be a safe place. <laughs> you know, wherever the biggest weirdo's home is, it's got to be the safest place in the world. Because he don't shit in his own backyard. <laughs> he goes to New York to do that shit. I've been to New York. Never mind. Are you missing my my deeper part part of this here? I'm sure I am. <laughs> wow. You, you Are you typing again? Yeah, your button again? No. I'm uh, wow. doing other things. Wow. What? Well, wow. Well, listen. I say well. It's a very deep subject. <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, Grimner's making fun of you, nan and nan, boo boo. <laughs> exactly, Moose. That's I didn't. why she says she knows that there's no way I'm ever gonna go through all the fucking trouble of going traveling to Delaware. No, if that's the end result of night leaving, <laughs> you can have Delaware. You know, all of it. <laughs> I don't want nut. You know, even a little bit. Not even a little tiny slice of Delaware do I want. So my wife kind of figured out that I really have a distaste for Joe Biden. 
that creeping crud just crawls under my fucking skin just Crap. looking at him. I did it wrong. Oh, that. Well, I saw too many uh, pictures of him drooling on children. It freaked me out. It got. Ew. I got all like merry about it. And I usually stay neutral on this kind of shit. You know, I figure fuck people got to you know got their own problems. But the way I see Joe Biden is wow, that's a problem I don't want to have. <laughs> So, it got my attention. It's got to be pretty bad. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. That's the way I see it. That's my decision. So, uh-huh. anyway, my wife, who knows me very well, decided that she'll pick that place as the only place she'll ever go in America to go to America. So, I don't want to go now. What? Thanks, Suterick. <laughs> see, honey, what you did? <laughs> It's all Cirque's fault. She made me the anti-American I am today. Thank you very much. Okay, here you gotta have do, this. This hey, is a visual. Do, you are you aware? Are Are you aware that I'm an anti-American as of today? Good for you. I just started, well, will you yeah. be tomorrow? No, today I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I'm revolting against. You America. are very revolting. <laughs> Uh, uh, I'm declaring war uh, on America. You turn my stomach. <laughs> Good. My job is done. <laughs> <laughs> but first, I must now, tell you more of yeah. myself. Listen, I, I put that uh, into the chat. Capitani uh, Zani, the uh, secret identity of uh, me, myself, and I. It is uh, Scaramouche. And he uh, resides from this place called uh, Scaria. Moosh. As tis true, I am come to discover secrets, but more <laughs> to trust than suspect. <laughs> Fitly, nothing but words uh, gratify me. I got a free hugs come on along. <laughs> wow. Vinny's meltdown live at the dork table. <laughs> On this 22nd uh, of December. Uh, this is a crazy talk. Uh, okay, first of all. Hey, uh, is it? Yes, it's a me, a Capitani. <laughs> well, everything you say is just a little crazy. Crazy. Well, just a little. I mean, you, you got to think about what kind of nut job you must be to have to to have wanted to go down to get yourself in the middle of uh, a government standoff. <laughs> oh, standing in a gap. <laughs> yes, as a fucking reporter, I wouldn't do it for the love of money. Oh, man. I, I don't, well, I'm saying, I'm not laughing at you. I'm saying, I'm laughing at me because I wouldn't fucking touch that with a 10-foot pole. My, my wants in life are way more selfish. Well. You know, you, that was like, that's what, people that um really give a shit about the system do they support that kind of shit yeah uh, hey mike i i, I, I went to I vegas I, I don't think i said that today what that i did go yeah i was there in vegas yeah, i was I there in 2014 yeah. mike knows that yeah. uh but i went to vegas for the trial and i uh i ended up on the witness list number uh um uh, well yeah 303 on uh, kicked out of court Yes, that is me, uh, Moose Girl, my, my Twitter. It's my secret identity. Shh, don't tell nobody. <laughs> I've got to go there to be able to go to see these people that have blocked me, like Kieran Suckling, the Center for Biological Diversity, and J.J. McNabb, the uh, homegrown terrorist expert, uh, and uh, some others as well. <laughs> Hecti, Hecti, yeah, you, the uh, Bundy Court. Uh, sketch artist getting famous for stickman figures <laughs> uh, go figure ponder gander that's me too uh, hey donna just walked in i think donna's been Did here go? oh has she i didn't notice well i wasn't reading the chat <clears throat> now i'm reading the chat and i saw her name never mind yeah donna hey. and mike know each other at the- apparently i was just saying hey yeah uh, we've been friends. I'm here too. We're friends from way back. Yeah, that, all that. Yeah. 
All that, hey, you got nipples? How many nipples do you have? You know, you can pretty much milk anything with nipples. <laughs> it's what the one guy said in that one movie with uh, uh, Robert De Niro. You know what? Yes, no, no. Captain Weirdo. I don't even know. Wow. What crawled up your leg and died, Mr. Weirdo? Talking no. all kinds of crazy Robert De Niro. I, I'm afraid to leave you alone, my friend, and, Why? and wander away. Is it somebody else there to watch you? Ah, you're going to come play all on right, Tuesday man, night or what? No, hey, no, hey, hey. No, not Tuesday. It's Christmas. Okay. I'll be, uh, I'll be like getting fat, man. All right. And you got a new show coming up in like three weeks. Two, right. man. I don't Two know. weeks. Yeah, okay. it's Two the weeks. first Friday. I was Listen, fucking close. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, celebratory of uh, when I left out on my trip uh, two years ago. And Yay. celebratory of the release of uh, Clive and Bundy the, in, in the uh, dismissal with prejudice mm -hmm. on uh, uh, January the 8th of uh, last year. This year. Mm -hmm. uh, lots of other stuff that all ties together and uh, bringing it to uh, air. It's a it's a radio writing series and it's the uh, it's the Bundy Ranch saga. Okay, if you say so, sir. It's a judge, a jury, and a half ass chance. Mm, I got elixir while you were yakking your mouth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know it's you're good right. to be the, it's good to be the king. I'm telling you. Donna knows who uh, JJ McNabb is. Mm. You know, she is that good? She don't. She don't put up with no uh, snarkiness on her uh, Twitter. Oh, you know, so, Twitter. Yeah. Okay. You get blocked with a quickness. Blocked. Blocked with a, with a quickness. Oh yeah, because you're all about that big stuff. Yeah. Good luck with it. I hope you succeed. Me, I don't play. If I'm on there, it's not because of anything I'm doing. On the Twitter things. Are you armed and dangerous, my friend? One of my other boycotts is Facebook and Twitter. No, nobody listens. They want to support it. Nah, go ahead. Not my problem. I don't want to do it. I ain't going to do it. You know where I'm at. Um, easy to find. <laughs> you know? Man, that's good. And, and I think that the people at the RLM are... Straight out of the ground. Well, they're a sensible crowd to chitter-chatter with on a daily basis. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and wow, and there's uh plenty of shows to choose from when you come check out what RLM is. If you haven't already, because hey, maybe it's time to expand, get a few more bodies in here. Yeah. Who knows? See what you got to do. Because I saw some names that you recognize, but I didn't recognize, so they're new to me. Uh, so I look a little deeper, my friend. No, 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 I'm not, no, do, don't give me instructions. Do, do me. as you Fall will, over. my friend, and I, I, will, and do I will do mm. as I will. Do. No, you'll do as you are told, state boy. I gotta go, baby. <laughs> Thanks. I'll uh, see ya. Thanks, okay. you. Thanks for listening, everybody. Uh, I'm gonna pluck a few minutes here and uh, shut uh, a few things off and uh, get ready to roll around a little bit. Thanks a lot, Vincent. Merci beaucoup. Well, I don't know. I don't speak French, but I recognize it when I hear it. I think I've heard enough accents in my day to recognize that French crap when I hear it. Anyway, yeah, we did a, a weird dork table. Today was supposed to be about uh, dolts. And we were as probably as dolty as you can be. But one of the things that I think I wanted, it was tr trying to talk to him about it, but he kept shifting in, in and out of gear. Uh, was we would have conversations about how ridiculous the arguments in chat look when you're not involved in them. <laughs> or how they must sound when if me and him did one on the radio. And the people listening, how would you know if that was real or not? <laughs> and me and him had many conversations about the exterior of the interaction. But Vinny's Vinny, and he it's hard to keep his attention or get him to answer a question. He likes to ask the question. He doesn't like to answer them. See, huh? To the, the, 
two people that are on the RLM chat listening. Wow. No, Vinny left early, dear. My wife is not, does, she woke up in the middle of the show. <laughs> Took the dog out. Now she doesn't know what's going on. And here we are at closing time on the RLM Bar and Grill Dark Table Podcast. Where me, your host, Flash, will call it a night. Anyway, we're going to have coming up tomorrow of Grim and the Blues in the morning for a couple hours, then into the trivia game. Then after that, got Hal Anthony comes in and does his thing of behind the woodshed. And after, there's nothing after, no, okay. Then there was somebody, but he stopped. All right. I had a brain fart. Then Tuesday, I'm back on again with In a Perfect World that Vinny sometimes comes in on. But this week, he came in on the dork table. So this week, I'll probably be at the In a Perfect World doing solo. So if you want have a you know an itch, you want to talk about something in particular, you're welcome to join me on Tuesday night. Get on the wire. You people know who you are. And we'll do a In a Perfect World on Tuesday at 7 my time in Denmark. I think it's 1 one Eastern. I don't think it was noon. I think it was 1 o'clock Eastern. Hope I'm right. Anyway, if not, I'm close. And then on, on Wednesday and Friday, we got uh, Grammy Mary doing her Rocket Chair podcast. And Friday night after Mary... Then you have Grim and Moose Girl doing the Freakers Ball. And then again, Saturday, we got the Dork Table. So, I thought about doing this Thursday. Cirque was uh, doing the family thing. And I was home alone. And I was thinking about staying up late on Thursday. And maybe doing an hour on Thursday nights or something. Maybe where I do links or... uh, not my own shit, you know, not, well, this will be the opposite of what I normally do. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, out here it's, uh, well, not night, it's 8 o'clock, almost, 5 to 8. Of course, I'm 3 minutes faster than everybody else, so it's more like uh, <coughs> 8 till 8, but that's secondary. And anyway, um. Uh, All this stuff that Grimm's got going on, now I saw in the beginning of the program, he said he added us to something called iHeartRadio. And he put up a link, but I I don't think I copied it. So I'm going to stick around for a few more minutes. And if you can put that back, Grimm, (laughs) because I didn't think ahead at the time when you did it, I was doing the radio with Vinny and screwing around. And now I'm having a dork table moment to clear up any misunderstandings there might be <clears throat> amongst me and the little people <laughs> the little people isn't that funny because that's how we all are anyway the game would be a drag if you were all by yourself playing it and what kind of fun would that be Ugh. huh honey I like playing the game with a partner Playing alone, eh, <laughs> they call it, never mind what they call it. We all know what they call that. Yeah. They call it fucking around. That's what they call that. And we don't have time for that in a perfect world stuff. <laughs> anyway, I got to the end of the show and uh, I guess I'm just going to close out with, uh, oh yeah, this would be a, uh, I'm going to do a show on Christmas Day with In a Perfect World because I don't hold the religion to any real reality. <laughs> it's it's nice, and I'm not going to knock it or anything like that. I just I don't have a concern for it. No big love. So if you're bored on Christmas, I'm doing In a Perfect World over and out. Thanks, everybody.